Hey there, it's Marguerite Alcantara of Alcantara Acupuncture and Healing Arts Activator for the new Code of Power. And I have been noticing something that um, I've been noticing a lot more on social media. And, um, and I wanted to bring it to your attention because it is something that is actually keeping starseeds from being in their power. Um, and that is, um, and it's, you know, and what this does is it actually lowers your frequency and it lowers your vibration, uh, which then blocks you from your power. That's how that works. And so what's actually happening that I'm noticing is going on a lot is that there are a lot of starseeds who are talking about, um, you know, like talking about how much in their victimhood they are, you know, where they're saying, you know, these people are doing things to me. This is, this is what's happening to me. This is, you know, like that kind of thing where it's like, um, you know, it's this whole thing around, you know, things are being done to me that I have no control over. And, and there's a lot of anger and a lot of emotion that's attached to it. And, um, and that's something that I wanted to really address because the truth is, is that no one takes your power away from you unless you give, unless you give it to them, unless you give your power away from them. And it reminds me actually, um, recently I was at an event and there was a woman there and she said, you know, this person, you know, they take our power away and, and, and that kind of thing. And I said, no, they don't take your power away. You actually gave it to them. And, and I know that that was probably something that was for her, probably um, not something she wanted to hear or that she found offensive, but that's actually the truth. That's how power works. Power doesn't just suddenly get evaporated from your energy field. It is because um, there's a transaction that happens um, with power where if you give it away, it then doesn't, you know, it, it's no longer with you. Um, the good news about that is that your power is yours and you can always reclaim it. Um, so that's the good thing. Um, but until you get into the awareness of the fact that you, um, if you are in a place of disempowerment and you're feeling like a victim, it's not because someone is taking your power away from you. It's because you're giving it away to them. And that may not be um, done on the cognizant level or you may not be aware of it. Um, it may even be done by accident. That happens sometimes, right? But um, the truth is, is that uh, on some level you've given it away. So um, I just really want to bring it to your attention. If you are one of those star seeds who is um, talking about, complaining about, you know, how everyone has done you wrong, how things are happening to you, how life is unfair and how this is happening in your life, take responsibility for it, right? And I know this is not such a popular um, perspective, but this is the truth, is that when you realize that you actually gave your power away, you then have the awareness and the power to reclaim that power back to you because it does belong to you, um, even if you gave it away to somebody else, right? And that's uh, something that I've taught uh, many of my clients and I've sometimes shared it on uh, social media, on some live tutorials about how to actually do that. But that is something that you can do. You can reclaim your power. But firstly, before you do that, you need to be aware of the fact that you are giving it away. So if there's any part of you that is feeling very victimized, feeling like the whole world is, is against you, like the universe doesn't have your back, like it's putting um, you, know, you through the ringer and all this other stuff, I invite you with love to take responsibility for everything that you're creating because the truth is is that we create uh, what we are experiencing. So if there is something we're not happy with in our lives, you get to shift the frequency and the vibration and your perception and your mindset most likely around what is going on so that you can take your power back around the situation and create the kind of life that you want to be living. So, um, and, and the reason why this works when you shift your mindset uh, is that because when you do so, when you shift from the, you know, because the victim mentality is a very low frequency. It actually resonates at a very low frequency. And when you try to manifest from that, you will actually manifest you will actually manifest more of that frequency, right? And, um, but when you shift what 
your perception is around the situation and you actually shift your perception of your power around the situation, which basically means shifting it into the truth of the fact that you do have power over how you're reacting to the situation. Then you can reclaim your power around it. Then you actually raise your vibration and then you are actually allowing yourself to open up into your power as a star seed. So just remember that you know, if there's a part of you that is identifying with being a victim, you know, don't give your power away because that is a surefire sign that you've given your power away to someone or something and, um, and you don't need to, you know, because that is how our power leaves us is because we give it away. And whether it be intentionally or by accident, that's how it happens. Um, and like I said, the good news is that you can always reclaim it, but you do need to decide to reclaim it. You do need to decide that you are no longer a victim because you are not. And that is something that you get to shift your identity around because you are all powerful creators and everything that you are creating around you is a manifestation of your reflection of yourself. And so, you know, and that is something as intense as it is, no matter what you're going through, you can shift it around. And it all depends on you. And it all depends on if you view yourself as disempowered or empowered. And um, I know that sounds very simplistic, but that is the truth. And so that is my invitation to you. And my call out to you today is I invite you to see yourself as empowered. And if there's any aspect of yourself that is seeing yourself as a victim, I invite you to switch that and turn that around now into the truth of the fact that you do have power to reclaim your power back from whence from wherever you gave it away to and that um and that you are a powerful creator who gets to manifest exactly what you desire in the world so you can feel supported so you can feel embodied in the truth of who you are and so that you can be on mission and doing major wonderful powerful things in the world and making an impact in the world that you desire Okay, so much love, light, and power to you.